Welcome to Vientiane, the capital city of Laos. Yes, we're in Vientiane today and we're going to be visiting a couple different things. We are going to a rehabilitation clinic where basically they rehabilitate all the victims of the unexploded bombs that go off here in Laos. Because if you don't know, Laos was bombed a lot during the Vietnam War. It's actually the most bombed country in the world. So first off, we are here at the Arc du Trial. Yes, if you recognize this, apparently it is a replica of the Paris Arc du Trial. But this one's got a bit more of an Asian flair to it. So uh, let's go climb up that and take a look at Vientiane. Oh, good timing, Tom. Good timing. just want to tell you a bit about the history and why do we come and see the stupa that is the symbol of the country. So at my back you see the statues as the king uh, Setatilat who moved the capital city to Vientiane in the 1560 uh, AD. Welcome to Laos and also welcome to Coke Visitor Center. Coke here, we got to help the people who have been injured by war. We got to be talking about the secret war. Even the war ended a long time ago. There are many Lao people, many innocent children have been injured by bomb and have been killed by the cluster bomb. It's still over 100 people per year. There's a lot of people. The cluster bomb is small explosive submunition that carries by airplane like this big bomb there when they drop it. And that bomb gonna open with air, and then the open the small bomb here, like here is contained inside that bomb. It's a 680 for one bomb. U.S. Army they drop 19 different kinds of so in Laos country, and they drop it's a 260 million of cluster bomb in Laos. And right now it's a 80 million left on the ground. There are 80 million left on the ground. That's why it's many people have been injured, have been killed by this one. So how come many people still have been injured by the cluster bomb? or buy this one because you know like 80% of our people we are farmers so when they go to collect food, collect herb at the jungle, at the farm when they step on the bombs, the, the bomb is going to explode so this part is talking about coke what is coke do? Yeah? so coke is provide protective sleep like for the people who have been those legs so like this one is we call it a low perlin right? this low perlin is mean from here down that mean so it's a remake is from polypropylene. You know polypropylene? Yeah. yeah. The cost to make this one just for provide for one one leg here. This is just for give to the first uh, the, the person who, who need it. This one is a seventy five dollar. If they use and they break it, they can come to get a new one. So Coke pay everything for those people who need a property thing for Coke. So he pay bus ticket, food also of communism. Even they stay here one month, two months, Coke pay everything. Hey guys, I just want to have a little one-on-one -on -one conversation with you guys after the COPA Center because I know it was a lot to take in. There's a lot of information there. One, the fact that I'm very sick right now. I know you can't really tell, but <laughs> yeah, it's not this sick. It's like, mm, you know what I mean. It's like, mm, yeah. Anyways, I'm not really going to paint your picture. But regardless, it doesn't really matter how sick I am because at the end of the day, I still have all my limbs and I am very lucky to be where I am. 75 bucks. I just bought somebody a leg today. I know my leg's worth a heck of a lot more than 75 bucks. But yeah. Let's see you guys in Cambodia. We're going to Cambodia tomorrow. <laughs>